the name of His Holiness, Olumba Olumba Boom. In the mighty power of our Lord, His Holiness, Olumba Olumba Boom. Amen. Now and forevermore. Brethren, today we are going to talk about change of name. Was one thing we have found out from the doubt and unbelief of the world about our father, leader Olumba Olumba Boom, is because of change of name. Because the argument is, the people of the world is claiming that Brother Will of the Cross and Star is presenting another Jesus Christ to the world. But we are here to tell them we are not presenting another Jesus Christ. The entire world is waiting for the manifestation, the coming of Christ from the sky. But Brother Will of the Cross and Star, we have a different perspective that no man has ever come down from the sky. Every spiritual body that is coming to this physical world must be born of a woman. And today, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is trying to let the world know that we are not presenting another Jesus Christ, but the same Jesus that they are waiting for. We are telling them that the return Christ is now personified in the Olumba, Olumba, Obu. Because it has happened to the people of this world. In his last advent, the original name known by the Jews in the Old Testament is Emmanuel. Isaiah prophesies that a virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Now, Isaiah gave this prophecy years before Christ was born. And the people of that time was waiting for Emmanuel and not Jesus. So automatically, in the book of Matthew, chapter, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, this change of name takes place. Matthew chapter 1, verse 22 to 25. The angel told Joseph that the child that is conceived by Mary is the virgin child that was prophesied about. He's supposed to be called Emmanuel, but we are telling you that you should call him Jesus. Now, that mind you, chapter 1, verse 22 to 25, brought change of name. The two names are there. And today, the world has forgotten about the original name known by the Jews, which is called Emmanuel. The pastors that were arguing today about the name Jesus. Jesus was given later. The prophecy said Emmanuel. And Gabriel said Jesus. This brought confusion to the Israelites. That they are not waiting for Jesus. They are waiting for Emmanuel. And because they never know that this same child to be called Emmanuel is now named Jesus when he was born. Abraham, in Genesis chapter 17, verse 5, it was also revealed that after Abraham pleased God, God decided to change his name. Genesis chapter 17, verse 5. He said, your name will no longer be called Abraham. But Abraham, the change of name came. Also, when you read Genesis chapter 32, verse 28 to 30, the name Jacob was also changed by God. God, after Jacob wrestled with a man throughout the night, and the man asked him, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. Then God told him, from today, you will be no longer called Jacob, but you will be called Israel. That is how change of name came about. Then we can also remind you of Peter was called Selfas by our Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18. Peter's name was changed to Selfas. Now so many people call him Peter, Peter. But the Bible also called him Selfas. If you go again, House of Apostles, you read about St. Paul. Saul was the original name. But after he has known the truth, he was called Paul. Now, if a change of name takes place, do we have right to cushion a God? Why did Abraham change to Abraham? Why did Jacob change to Israel? Why did God change Emmanuel to Jesus? Do we have something to cushion him? He gave the prophecy. He also sent Angel Gabriel to come and change the name. And because of this change of name, you see that the Israelites could not get it right. Today, the whole world is looking for our Lord Jesus the Christ in person that is coming with the same name Jesus. 
But in Revelation chapter 2, verse 17, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, and Revelation chapter 19, verse 12, told us that there will be change of name, that the man they are expecting will come with a new name. So therefore, if change of name is constant from the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, then Christ coming with a new name is no longer new to the children of God because God has been changing different people's names in the Bible. So he has the power still to change the name of his only begotten son, to come back with a new name. And because when Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ finished his work and ascended to heaven, according to St. Paul in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, he said, his father highly exalted him and gave him a name that is greater than all other names. And since that name was not revealed to St. Paul, St. Paul could not tell us until it was revealed by Christ to John the Divine. And John told us that he has got a new name. So it's not something to argue that the world is looking for Christ personified in the Daulumba Lumba Bull. It's change of name that is causing the problem. And also this time he is born in Africa. He has an African skin. His personality, his body, everything resembled Africa. When he was born in Israel, he took the Israelite's body, the Israelite skin. So there's nothing different for him coming in this dispensation with a new name. So brotherhood of the cross and star, we are not presenting a new Jesus to the world, but the return Christ with a new name. Those who are doubting should charge the Bible about the change of Abraham, change of Sarah, change of Jacob, change of Emmanuel to Jesus, change of Saul to, to Paul, change of Peter to Selphus, and so on. So change of name is not new to the children of God. And that is the information we are giving the world.